Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new tutorial series on System Advisor Model. System Advisor Model or SAM is a software which does renewable energy simulations. As all of you know, renewable energies are the need of the hour. So this particular software and this simulation is gaining frequent attention from the research community. We'll develop our ent an entire tutorial series where we talk about the fundamentals of the SAM software, what are the possibilities with this software and how exactly a research problem or an entrepreneurial innovation problem can be tackled using this software. I hope this tutorial series will help you so kindly bear with us and all of you know that we frequently upload simulations on ComSol Multiphysics. So along with ComSol Multiphysics, we are adding a new software which is System Advisor Model. If you want to collaborate with any of the softwares, then do write to us in the email ID given in the description box and I would be happy to approach you. So without further delay, let us initiate the simulation or tutorial with system advisor module so we can see this is the front page of the simulation software and nrel is written here why it is so because this software is developed by nrel that is national renewable energy laboratory a well-known research laboratory who does work in renewable sector so we'll initially show uh, how exactly you download this software so if you go to google and search nrel sam then you'll reach to this particular website so this is the official website of national renewable energy laboratory and here you see one option download and if you go there you will be able to see different versions of sam software so the frequently update their software and that's why new model new module new executable files come and here you see the latest version so you have to download this executable file and you have to install it as you can see this software is already installed in my system so i will not go ahead with the installation but i just look for this software i open it here so the software is being opened you can see here so initially this page will come and in this page what we can see as like other softwares there is one option to start a project you can see a welcome note here in this welcome note section they basically advertise or give notices for different webinars which they frequently do you can even attend their webinars because i actually learned the software by watching those webinars or attending those webinars so i also encourage you to look at this particular welcome note and attend few of the webinars it will help you now i would directly go to the software interface and i will click on start a new project so once you click on start a new project, you will be seeing the options which are available under different renewable energies. So the first one is photovoltaic. As all of you know that solar panels are frequently used nowadays to harvest energy from the solar radiation. So what we have inside a solar panel is nothing but photovoltaic cells. So photovoltaic cells absorb the solar radiation and converts into electrical energy and this is an electrochemical technique uh, i'm not going into the details of the operation procedure of photovoltaic cell but just to let you know photovoltaic cells are the cells uh, which is there in the solar panel so if you want to do any kind of simulation with solar panels suppose you are installing a few solar power panels on your rooftop or uh, agricultural land which is available and you would like to know how much energy you can harvest if you install a plant there so this kind of simulations can be possible here you can see there are other energy storage options there are hybrid system options so 
in many cases basically we see a combination of two or three different renewable energies like combination of wind power and solar power there are many plants across the globe where both the powers are connected to a single grid and that we call hybrid system so here there are possibilities of doing hybrid systems like first option is pv watts and the battery hybrid then pv wind fuel cell and battery hybrid photovoltaic and wind battery hybrid so multiple options are there based on our requirement we can choose any one of them and then we can do the modeling there are options like uh, concentrating solar power industrial process heat so in industrial process heat this is basically recycling the energy which is being wasted in industry sector like you have certain chemical industry wherein you are heating certain liquid and instead of uh, throwing out that particular heat if you can regenerate power from that particular heat that becomes another form of renewable energy so there are multiple options like tower molten salt parabolic uh, options linear direct steam so in many cases from steam you are generating heat and from that heat you are generating power those kind of systems can also be modeled here uh, you can see wind option is there fuel cell pv battery geothermal energy solar water heating biomass combustion and all those things are possible so today we will not do any simulation but i would like to introduce you with the software so i already talked about different possible simulations with sam now one more thing which i would like to convey in this introductory video that is this simulation is known as techno economic simulation why is that name so because in this simulation we are not bothered about the power generation only rather we are also bothered about the economy how much money is needed to install a particular solar plant how much profit or revenue i am going to generate out of it what would be the payback period if i am taking a bank loan then how many years i need to repay the loan so all those factors are coming into the picture like what we study in plant economics in core engineering paper so all those things are there there are provisions to put operating cost capital cost variable operating cost fixed operating cost so there are different business terminologies there you can put your data as financial parameters you can put the data technical parameters like if you want to install a solar panel what are the specifications of the solar panel if you have an inverter which will convert the DC power into AC power then what would be the specifications of the inverter everything is noted here uh, also there are weather files which are kept in a particular directory in the software so basically uh, if you want to do simulation with solar power generation solar power generation will vary location wise suppose you are generating power from a location in India which is generally hot region and you are also generating power from a country where say six months is under snowfall so obviously these two locations will be different in terms of solar radiation and obviously it will generate different kind of power so all those cases can be resolved here with the software so we'll, uh, we will continue with specific examples with the upcoming videos I hope this introduction would help you to realize the uh, the whereabouts of the software and we'll continue thank you uh, very much